to remove the pulleys. Uh, I haven't done this one yet, so we'll see how well it works. This one already had the holes drilled in the center spindle, but what you do is you you put the hole in the center spindle so that this won't drift and wreck your threads. Pointed tip. Uh, I used a cheap one for years and got by, and once in a while I didn't win the battle, so I bought a better Ingersoll Rand model now. Jump is going to be part of the video, bud. <laughs> you can see I didn't even need a pickle fork. Key out of the way. I keep track of your keys. That one. That one. Now, pull the one key out with a pair of pliers. I've got an extended bit, a little bit extended bit, for the bearings. Well, that one's going to fight me and make the video long, so, anyway. We've got the saw horse here. And see, this one's froze to the bearings. This one's not. sideways because there's that uh, spacer in there. There you go. Done. Mostly. <laughs> 